Hi, Nick here. Today's video is going to explore the history of acacia koa and its use in building guitars. Koa is one of the most sought after exotic tone woods out there, in part due to its beautiful appearance. Koa has light brown to rich golden hues, and figuring can include everything from three dimensional ripples to shimmering flame. Tonally, Koa has a punchy, low-mid emphasis, with clear, sparkly highs and sweet overtones. These characteristics often lead to comparisons with mahogany and maple, but Koa is actually a little bit wetter in sound of those two, though still dry overall in the uh, range of tone woods. The great note separation and distinctive fundamental with a little extra sweetness and a little bit of overtone color make koa perfect for finger style, um, slack key guitar, and jazz. Koa is endemic to Hawaii, growing in Mauka or upland forests. While koa can be found on all of the major Hawaiian islands, its largest natural habitat is on the big island of Hawaii, which many also consider to have the finest koa. Historically, koa was an important resource to the native Hawaiians who used it in creating fine artifacts such as tools, weapons, even surfboards and canoes. For a while, the wood was so highly prized that its use was restricted to the elite or chiefly class. These days, only naturally felled koa is harvestable on state land and only with the permit. Most private landowners also abide by the practice of only harvesting naturally felled trees to preserve the overall population. While this is a good management practice that ensures the supply of koa for years to come, it has also led to scarcity and at times poaching. Of course, due to its value, private landowners have tried koa plantations with mixed results. Many feel that koa grows best in a habitat close to its native upland forest habitat where it's mixed in with ohia trees and other uh, native flora and fauna. To that end, uh, Taylor Guitars and other private landowners have recently tried planting koa with a more holistic approach that focuses on sustainability, taking into account all of the other uh, plants and animals that you can have in there, uh, of course keeping out harmful animals like cattle that eat koa seedlings and uh, really seeking to provide a sustainable, renewable resource for years to come that will hopefully um, cut down on some of the poaching practices that are out there currently. Koa was probably first used as a tone wood for the construction of ukuleles, which dates back to the late 1800s in Hawaii. Shortly thereafter, the use of koa was expanded for the construction of parlor guitars, um, Weissenborn style, lap steel guitars, etc. These days, koa is still a cherished tone wood resource that is used by virtually all manufacturers of high-end acoustic guitars. In addition to its use as a tone wood, koa is also used in woodworking, jewelry, and fine uh, handcrafted heirloom quality furniture. With its sweet, distinct tonal character, drop dead gorgeous looks, and well established heritage, Koa is a tone wood par excellence with few rivals. I hope you've enjoyed this video about Koa. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.
Thank mm-hmm. you.